I want to have like an impact to the sport, you know, like I want to leave something to it that will, you know, last forever. I'm definitely not your typical moto kid, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like, you know, I always have a little bit of a different style and stuff. So, I don't know, it lets me really express, like, who I am through their gear, and I'm really, really stoked about that. Even before, like, it was a thought of me wearing their gear, they've always treated me like family. It just felt right, you know? like. I don't have to wear like a certain thing, you know, like I can wear like mountain bike gear with off-road pants and they're like super cool with it. Couldn't be more stoked to wear Troy Lee. Everyone thinks I'm a Cali kid, which I am a Cali kid, but before that, I was born in Bali, Indonesia. I grew up in Bali till I was 10 years old. Um, and before even dirt bikes was a thing, a thought to me, you know, I surfed, I skated, I rode BMX. Before dirt bikes, I did all that stuff and I had all of the hobbies, which was sick, but one night, just watched Supercross on TV and since then, I fell in love with the sport. I do it all, but if I really, really, really had to choose, it would definitely be Supercross. I love the technical aspect of it. I love hitting a triple in the middle of a rhythm section and greasing it every lap. I like going through the whoops and feeling, just feeling like I'm gliding on top of every single one. I just love Supercross, so I feel like that would be my favorite type of ride. When the time came like to decide, like, I, I don't know what else, like Troy Lee is it, our style is so good and you know, like most gear companies, like they don't come in like an artist background. Troy has just such a unique story how he got into it really, like painting visors and, it, and then he become a famous painter, so like passion and like the art is still there. What riders I look up to the most, man. I love all riders, but if I'm being completely honest with you, it's Ryan Sipes. Yeah, I met Kalana, uh, I guess probably about three years ago now. We were at uh, Red Bull Imagination. You know, I'm there with the, all the top free riders in the country, and this little kid comes up. He's like, hey, General, you know, big fan. I, I like all the stuff that you do. And I'm like, who is this kid? Uh, and then the next day I found out, you know, he's out there hitting those big jumps with us on his Superman. Yeah. goal for the future is to be able to win a 450 Supercross title, win X Games best flipping quarter pipe, and make the raddest free ride movie ever. Yeah, I mean, Kalana's like the perfect fit for TLD. Um, just, you think TLD, you think style and flair, and Kalana's got that in spades. And, uh, and also just the, the exposure he'll get at all these different events that he does. Uh, he's just about like hiring five different riders. I love doing other disciplines of riding, like flat track, like backing in the corner is one of the greatest feelings ever. To free riding, gliding 160 feet in the air, feeling weightless, like that, that feeling is like unexplained. Like you, you can never get that feeling until you get it. And I feel like you don't have to hit 160 feet to feel that feeling. You can jump two feet, but that feeling of being in the air, it, it's crazy. All these other disciplines I do is so fun and it's so rad that Troy Lee is on board with that and that they accept it and they actually encourage me to do it, which is like awesome. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs>